today is Back to Viv Day. All the seniors are coming back up for one last hurrah. It's going to be poignant today going back to your squads with all your old squad members. Kind of the last informal meeting of the whole grade. It's kind of just kind of remembering where it all started and where everyone met and where we were four years ago compared to today. And so much has happened in between those two times and I'm really excited to to just have everybody back here one last time. We were originally trying to get about um, 60 to 80 people up and getting interest and we got up to like I think like 115 people signed up. When I heard that they were doing it I immediately wanted to go back. Same. When we pulled in, I like didn't expect to be as excited as I was, and then like seeing the rock wall and everything else was like super exciting. And now I kind of wish like we had more time here. Like my memory has been like reawakened, and I'm remembering all the stuff we did. I feel much bigger. Compared the rock like, is a lot what? smaller than it used to be. Yeah, <laughs> everything is much smaller. But what we've got planned is basically when we get done here um, to let you hopefully go back to your squad. I'd love for you to take a selfie with whoever's okay. here. Wait. Oh, can you guys up there? Remember when we cut so much wood? And Someone cut down a tree. had to let us cut down a tree. No, 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 no. Yeah. Someone tried to cut down a tree and he freaked out at it. Yeah. 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 yeah, you. <laughs> no, no, he, no. I, I took my axe yeah. up to the other yeah. group. Yeah. And he no, you guys have squad 15. He uh, loves it. You guys get it's really good being back with my squad and remembering all the things that you never thought you'd forget, like building a latrine. We went back and tried to recreate some photos. It also has a distinct smell, this place. I yeah, think. yeah, it definitely okay. does. Down by our squad. Mm. Wasn't a normal outdoor smell. It's something sweeter. Yeah. In some ways, it feels like a million years have gone by, and we're all so much more mature. And on the other hand, it also just feels like we're very similar, and nothing's really changed. My tent mates they introduced me to so many people, and coming of so many nerves. It was so great to meet everyone. They introduced me to all their friends. Told me everything that happened in middle school, all the drama, which was a lot of fun to hear. Um. We have two or three things going on up here. We've got the wall that we're going to open up. So if you want to try the new climbing wall that was in last year, do that. We have a, a brick oven. Uh, we're going to miss the morning and the bros and some of the JGs are going to help you with, uh, if you want to bake a pizza. When I went to Bivouac, I, I felt like I got to meet everybody. I got to meet the faculty and I really got to uh, try new things. And then the first day of classes, I felt more comfortable being uh, the youngest in the school and I felt like I I could hold my own. And, uh, I didn't know anyone when I came here, and I sat next to Erica King on the bus, and I think they were like, oh, like, everyone, we're 20 minutes away, and, like, tears just, like, filled my eyes. I've never been camping before, and all of a sudden, I was like, I'm stuck. I'm in the woods for 10 days, and there's no bathrooms, and so I was freaking out, but coming out of it, like, the total opposite opinion. I loved it. I had a great time, and I'm honestly so happy we're back. After Biv, I think I felt this sense of community. I felt like, like I belonged at BBNN. I love this community. I think it was a great way for high school to kind of come full circle. We're literally back where we started, so.